Hello my friends, it's Mark the Southern Cad Man coming to you on a beautiful December day here in the south. It's about 55 degrees and what a beautiful afternoon we're having here. I hear the leaf blowers going off in the distance. I actually had to wait a few minutes for one of my neighbors to get done before I could come out here and do the video. But here we are and look what we've got. 1991 Cadillac Brome de Elegance. From where I'm standing and from hopefully what's coming across in the video, this is a spectacle. What a glorious car this is. Absolutely beautiful. Crisp, crisp. Garage kept. One family owned up until about a year ago. 41,000 mile car. And if you want to know what these things looked like when they were new, this is a pretty darn good representation. And you probably can see why. Those of you who really know these cars, Probably already noticed the appliance wheels. And those with an extra sharp eye might even see. That's right. Royal Seal tires. Full set. And they actually ride really, really nice. Of course, I wouldn't go very far with them. But look at this thing. You're looking at the original pinstripes on the side of the car. The original vinyl top, original chrome, and speaking of the chrome, just have a look at the grill. When, you, when you've seen a lot of these cars, you see patterns of wear. And the grill is something that very often washes out. But look at the chrome grill, look at the bumper, look at the reflection on that chrome. This little inset piece in front of the grill is actually stainless. It's prone to getting a lot of little dings and pop pops in it. and It's in fantastic condition. Headlight bezels, hood ornament, and look at the paint. It's the little things. Again, you're looking at original pinstriping from the factory. And I only hope the camera is picking up just how nice this body is. Totally straight, never hit, never hurt. And again, look at those appliance wheels. This is one of the nicest sets of appliance wheels I think you'll ever see. And I'll put up a picture of uh, what they look like on the inside. The Royal Seal tires. Inside of the appliance wheels, a lot of times you'll see a lot of rust scale, corrosion. Look how nice. Even the raw weld. Such nice shape. The lighter colors sometimes are hard to photograph, hard to film, and show just how nice the paint is, but I think we can get a sense of it. Have a look at the tree in the reflection. What a magnificent car this is and the elegance. All the claddings have been freshened up. The rear fillers were replaced with the proper injection molded premium fillers. And the reason we like those so much is that the fit and finish is so nice. Those of you who have struggled with Fiberglass fillers probably know what I'm talking about. And even the ABS fillers can be a little bit cantankerous. Again, this car came from Montgomery, Alabama, home of Hank Williams. I have a friend who lives down there, and I, ha I actually called him to ask him if this dealership was still there, and he said, yes, it is. The name has changed, but the dealership is still there. This car was loved its entire life, garage kept, as you can surely see. And straight as an arrow. When you have seen a lot of these cars, like I said, you just notice what goes first and what goes out, what starts to show when you see one this crisp. It's a reminder of how nice they were. You can see the sheen of the vinyl top, the original llama grain looking really, really nice. 
no wear, no splitting or drying out. Just beautiful. All the glass is excellent. The bright work underneath is beautiful. Again, I just hope the camera catches how nice this paint is. I'll try to make a couple slow passes maybe to really point some things out. Maybe we can find some reflection. That's a nice shot. Beautiful. What a beautiful brome to add to your collection. It runs and drives as good as it looks. It has the Chevy 305 fuel injection fuel injected engine. It runs fantastic. Plenty of power. And of course, since it's a D-Elegance, features the Chesterfield style tufted interior. In this case, leather. All matching. This is a true monochromatic car. What I mean by that is every painted panel on this car is silver. And silver is the only car, the only color you can do that with, really, because as we all know, these fillers here are silver on all cars, no matter what the color. In this particular car, everything is silver. I just thought that was kind of cool. The paint is just stunning. Try to go around and talk about anything that might be worth noting. The fillers under the headlights, they have a couple little, there are some, uh, well, let's see if we can find it with the camera. Over the years where some bugs have uh, have hit, it's just made a couple of discolored spots. Perhaps, yeah, you can tell. But along the header, beautiful. No rock chips that I can see. Let's see what else. little minor scratch Let's see where is it where's my finger there we go little scratch right there <laughs> not a lot to point out The rear emblem is a little faded, so perhaps this side saw more sun. I tell you, I really can't even see anything else to show you. I went over this car with two stages of buffing, and then two times over with wax. So I became intimately familiar with every square inch of this thing. And it really was remarkable to see just how incredibly nice this body is. The one scratch I showed you was actually a tiny door ding. I took it to my paintless dent removal guy and we went over the whole car. Whatever little pings there were from doors or anything else, we got out. And I'm, I'll be honest, I can't even remember where they are nor can I tell by any evidence where they were? Everything's right back like it should be. The only other thing I noticed, this piece of trim 
had a wrinkle a couple little wrinkles I don't know if that means someone took it off for some reason I looked really hard at this car to see any evidence of paint if anything was touched up they were a master There's a tiny little, um, I don't know if it's a little nib, a little dust particle that was in the paint. And I'll tell you, that proves nothing because that sometimes was found in, on factory paint as well. So I honestly cannot tell if this hood has been painted or not. I don't think so. Color is no, uh, the color silver is notoriously difficult to match. But all the color in this car is 100%. Ever so slight variation where the, the new fillers are, but even that came out really nice. Oh, here's something. Just a minor little chip, little area here where some paint chipped off as you can see the silver on the uh, the filler matches the body beautifully again the 5 liter engine and let's get across the top to so you can see the sun's kind of low in the sky so we can see some reflection there to show you how nice the vinyl top is driver's side so inviting beautiful leather interior and very soft very soft leather steering wheel beautiful the dashboard all the faux wood panel beautiful at the very very edge there's a couple spots where just the die has uh, just barely been lifted. Door panels, excellent, all of them. Never any cracks, no repairs needed. The de elegance embroidery. See the bright work on the switches. You can see, of course, I always point out the reflection across the glove box, showing the condition of the of the wood veneer or the the faux wood veneer, as you could say. And as to be expected, the rear seat, beautiful seat backs, the rear seat pockets are nice and tight. Again, all the door panels, beautiful. All the wind sweeps, beautiful. All the weather stripping, beautiful, just as new. All of this. And what you'll see sometimes is this leading edge will get chewed up and that is from people who lock their keys in the car and are trying to fish them out with a coat hanger. And that usually corresponds to scratches along this B pillar. And you can see there are none. The jams are beautiful. All up in there where the hinges are, just beautiful, beautiful. Bottoms of the doors. This car is Got an incredibly nice body. Very, very clean undercarriage as well. Let's get in here, I'll show you a couple other things. So the radio has been refurbished. Took it out. It's a two-piece radio. You have the head unit here, and you have the module, which is up under. And uh, taking that thing out is not for the faint of heart. 
and certainly not for the claustrophobic. But both both uh, components, they work in tandem, so it's wise to get them both looked at. Usually capacitors go bad. You can see the power antenna working as it should. Radio as well. Don't want to uh, play anything we're not supposed to play on here, but all functions work. The tape player function works. Okay, I'm trying to do a function test for you. Function demonstration. Okay, we know that guy. I don't know how paranoid to be about the copyright stuff, so I've tuned into some nice static between stations. I do want to show you the tape player. It's no small thing that this tape player works, by the way. Apparently this is... Mm -hmm. All the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. This function will actually seek and find the next track on the cassette. That's how it's supposed to go. Uh, but it's no small this tape player, no small thing that this tape player works. Uh, the guy had this thing for about a month working on it, replacing all the capacitors. Uh, one of my favorites. Anyway, everything is as it should be there. Of course, the we showed you the antenna working, and uh, so there it is. Just so you know, the tuner does work fine, but again. I don't know how paranoid to be. So we will err on the side of caution. This is just what I love to see here, the steering wheel. You can hear the uh, level ride pump there in the background, perhaps, from having the key on. Fires up, sounds like, just like it's supposed to. The carpeting is immaculate. The original floor mats with the wreaths are here. Whoops. Here's the other one. That's my uh, dried grass I just brought in. And out over that hood is just a beautiful sight. That shiny pane and the bright, beautiful hood ornament leading the way. These cars really were something special. I'm sure the headliner was replaced at some point. Um, I didn't do it. It's nice and firm. It looks brand new, actually. Color matches. Have the lighted vanity mirrors, and of course, since it's a de-elegance, it has the the assist pulls or handles for all the passengers. Again, look across the dash. No cracks, no damage, and we all know about the uh, the very clever concealed. Uh, instrument panel or the instrument lighting hidden behind the burled wood strip very cool here's what's in the car give you a sense of who had it the manual The salesman, the original Cadillac business card. It does have a GM Goodwrench, Mr. Goodwrench uh, remote on it. Dealer installed, I assume. Here it is. I know it did work. Might need a battery. I'll try that. One thing that I think is interesting, as a matter of observation, is that people in the South never keep their window stickers in the cars. I don't know what that is. Car from the north almost always has it in there. Uh, you can tell me why that's the case, I'd love to know. Just an observation through the years of buying cars, uh, you don't see many window stickers in the south. 
kept with the cars. I don't know if they were just more private or I don't know what it is, but anyway. Take a look under the hood real quick. Again, look at the paint. I'm glad I waited till later in the day when the sun's a little lower. That's what it really looks like. If you remember the pearl gray car, 89, the condition that car was in, this would rival that. There's the Chevy 305. Everything looks like it should under here. Hood liner's intact. You can see the uh, air cleaner has a little missing paint. What that's probably from is someone using a cleaner that was a little too harsh. These under hood components that are metal are actually painted with lacquer. And if you use the wrong uh, cleaner on lacquer, it will it'll eat it off. It's probably what happened. All up under the hood. Beautiful. And I know um, everyone has opinions on this subject. I've had, oh my goodness, over the years, probably 40 or 50 of these Cadillacs. Um, many of this particular style and many, many more between 80 and 89. And I've had every engine configuration they made. I had the 368, the 368 with a 468 feature. I've had the 4.1 V6. I even had the miserable diesel. <laughs> the 4100, we all know about that. The 307, the 305 Chevy, and then the 350. And I'll tell you the truth. My absolute favorite configuration is the 305. I think it gives you the best balance between comfort of ride, the softness, the acceleration, the fuel mileage. Uh, that's my favorite configuration. Pull down working correctly. For the record, 91 was the first year for factory base coat, clear coat. So it's um, you're more likely to find a 91 or a 92 with really nice original paint for that reason. The lacquer paint, of course, we all know, know how it deteriorated. Okay. <laughs> Trying to find my way through the viewfinder. Such a nice car to drive. I've enjoyed it. I've put a, uh, probably a thousand miles on it, actually. The time I've had it. The nicer a car is, the harder it is to clean. And that may sound paradoxical, but when a car is really, really nice, it demands more attention. And when you finally get it to that level, it is just its own reward. So smooth, so nice, even on these old Royal Seal tires. Now, if you buy this car, I'll give you the option of uh, trading those Royal Seals. I'll, I'll be happy to put another set um, of new white wall tires on. Of course, you'll still get the appliance rims, unless you don't want those. But if, you, if you'd like to come fly in, drive home, that kind of thing, I would not drive on these tires very far. They show, they have no goose eggs, they don't act weird, they don't ride rough, they're not bumpy. They're remarkably smooth. Clearly, the benefit of being indoors But I would not trust them for more than maybe, I don't even know, I don't even want to say. I wouldn't go anywhere with them except maybe to the store.
and there's just no point in risking. They're really for show, you know, is a true representation of what this car looked like when it was at the dealership. But if I was going to drive the car any at all, I would uh, I would put new tires on it or get another set of wheels and tires with uh, nice new tires mounted and keep these for display because I tell you <laughs> it looks so right it looks like it's supposed to with those Royal Seal tires drives shifts just just like it's supposed to these cars had the uh, 700R4 transmission it might have even been I don't know if it was called the 4L60 by then or not I don't I don't remember but same idea good power good torque very tight front end um, car is just like it's supposed to be a lot of fun to drive and a lot of fun to look at so if you've been looking for a nice brome de elegance you might want to give me a call about this one 919-948-5980 we can talk about how, how to add this one to your collection if you need it shipped I can assist with that as well we can arrange transportation for the car or if you'd like to uh, fly in drive home I don't mind picking you up at the airport or meeting you at the airport with the car I've done that a couple times But again, if you're going to drive it home, uh, don't do it on these tires. Look out over that hood. This is what you get to look at when you're driving this car. So much fun and so comfortable. The seats are just excellent. Very supple, very soft, cushy. I cannot imagine anybody would be disappointed with this car. 91D Elegance. Nine one nine nine four eight five nine eight zero. I don't expect this car will be available for very long. My name is Mark. Give me a call. Asking price for this car twenty nine five. The De Elegance cars are getting very, very hard to find. De Elegance cars with appliance wheels, even harder. And all I can say is good luck trying to find one with the Royal Seals on it. There she is, 91 De Elegance. Talk to you soon. Just another angle here. Look at that trunk lid. Yes, it looks this good. The clarity of the paint is remarkable. Did find one more little 
tiny rock chip right here. 